CPTJJCPV Evaluation and Management E&M Services Guidelines, page 4, part 4. Classification of Evaluation and Management E-M Services. Continue, right? right? We are describing the, the structure of the code for the E&M part in the CPT for Evaluation and Management, right? We, we already gave the, the first two, right, right. Uh, of the five levels. The first two considerations, now we're going to do the, the last three. Okay, so previously... Previously, the, the basic format of the five levels of evaluation and management services is the same for most categories. Is the same for most categories, right? Now, the third, what is the third uh, basic format? The content of the service is defined... The content of the service. For example... Comprehensive history and comprehensive examination. Right. The, the, how deep uh, the, the history and the examination are done, right? The fourth. The nature of the presenting, presenting problems or problem usually associated with a given level is described. Right. Uh, this, for instance, is why is the patient coming to the, to the office or, or why is the patient seeing the physician, right? Is it for a diagnosis? Is it, is it for therapy? And then how uh, deep is the service given? That is the fourth. And the fifth? Fifth is the time typically required the, to provide the service is specific. specific. Specified. Specified. Okay, now uh, this is the, a time frame. This is just a number. How many minutes is the doctor spending with the patient? Okay, so these five uh, basic concepts are uh, the structure of every ENM uh, code or evaluation and management code from the CPT. You just review those, and in every code, uh, you will find those five considerations, okay? So there is a, a little table there to, uh, as a review of what the E and M uh, codes are. And now we're going to do a problem. So I'm going to count to three. Oh, no. I'm gonna, just going to say ready, right? Right. Ready, set, go. All right. Now, the title is JJRBA. The page is 245, and it's uh, exercise number three. And this is a level two exercise, which means it's a little difficult. And the title is? Critical care. Critical care. Um, you probably should put the E and M after critical care. Okay. E and M, right? Yeah. All right. Now, the text reads like this. Evaluation and management. Patient arrives in the emergency room via a medical helicopter. Via a medical hel a helicopter brings the, the, the patient into the emergency room and... The patient has sustained multiple life-threatening injuries due to a multiple car accident. It was a, a multiple car accident and the patient has suffered injuries. Now, the patient goes into... Cardiac arrest. Uh-huh. Ten minutes after arrival. After arrival, in ten minutes he goes into cardiac arrest and... An hour and... 30 minutes of critical care time is spent trying to stabilize the patient. This is this is basic, you know, this is important. An hour and 30 minutes. The time is important because according to the time is that the codes change, okay? So, an hour and 30 minutes of critical care time is spent trying to st stabilize the patient, okay? So that is our procedure or that is our e &M, um problem. Now we are going to count to three, so you can pause the video and give us that, that code, the CPT code for this procedure or for this e &M situation, okay? One, two, three. Okay, the answer is 99291 and 99292. There are two codes there, okay? You got that? If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a couple of tips. First tip. First tip is level two difficulty. There are two codes. Well, it is. We consider a level two because there are two codes. You have to give us two codes, not just one. Okay, and the second tip. Second tip is start with evaluation and management. You start with evaluation and management. And the third tip. Third tip. Note that the time spent is one hour and 30 minutes. Follow. Then follow the... The pertinent... Pertinent guidelines. Guidelines, right? So, this is important. One hour and 30 minutes, okay? So that is the time that it was spent with the patient, and you have to include that in your search for the code, okay? 
So now it, to understand what's going on, we have four links to understand the problem. And as usual, the, the link that with the A plus is the one that we advise you to see or to click, no matter what, I mean, because this will give you a basic understanding of the problem. And now if you have more time, there's more links here where you can uh, go even deeper into it, okay? But the A plus link is the basic one, okay? So you have uh, tips, you have the links, and you have the answers. The answer is 99291 and 99292. Now, we're gonna count to three, so you can pause the video and give us the path, how we got to the answer, okay? So one, two, three. Okay. This is the summary of the whole problem. This is an evaluation and management problem from the CPT code book. The patient arrives in the emergency room via medical helicopter. The patient has sustained multiple life-threatening injuries due to a multiple car accident. The patient goes into cardiac arrest 10 minutes after arrival. An hour and 30 minutes of critical care time is spent trying to stabilize the patient, okay? That's the problem. Now, the code one, uh, the main words here is critical care, okay? And the code one through the index is found like this. First you go to index. Go to the index. Then you go to evaluation and management. As we told you in the tips, start with the evaluation and management. And from there you go to? Critical care. Critical care. And then you're going to find two codes there. 99291 and 99292. Now you go to the tabular to examine what these codes mean, right? So the code one through the tabular is checked like this. First you, okay, first you go to tabular. Go to the tabular. Then you go to 99291. It start with the first code that they gave you because we're gonna analyze what these codes mean, right? And we read, what do we read there? Critical care, evaluation, and management. They go on for 30 through 74 minutes. Okay, if they are up to 74 minutes, you only need one code. But in our case, we have 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half, right? So what do we do there? We, it's incomplete. We need another code, right? Right. So? So uh, we go to the second To code. the second one to see maybe that will help us. So uh, the second uh, code through the tabular is, is checked like this. So you go, go to the tabular, right? Yes, yeah, so you go to the tabular. And? Then you go to... 99292. And it says what? Each additional 30 minutes. Each additional 30 minutes, which is exactly what we want. We would just want one additional 30 minutes. That, that would uh, get the 74 into 104, which is less than 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half. So that is our, our answer. We have one code for critical care and the second code for the 30 additional minutes. All right? So that's why we need two codes, 99.291 and 99.292. Okay, so thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit our website. And also, and also you can subscribe to us in YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. Uh, just click in the subscribe button and you will get? You will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD-10, CPTs, all that is needed to pass the medical coding certification exam. So don't forget to visit our website and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.